Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to create a multi-band multi -band image from uh, Landsat uh, imagery that we've downloaded. We're going to download uh, individual bands for uh, two different uh, Landsat tiles and gonna, we're going to combine them into a single big image. So let's, uh, we're going to use Manifold Release 9 here and that's what we're looking at. And you can do this in the free Manifold Viewer as well. Uh, viewer is read-only, but you can still create these images and then do screenshots of them if you want to use them in, uh, you know, in websites and uh, presentations, things like that. I'm going to click File, Import. And here are the various uh, bands that I've uh, downloaded from uh, Landsat. I can import them all at once by cont clicking Control A to select all and choose import. Uh, these are TIFF files. They're actually GeoTIFF files. as downloaded from the uh, USGS Earth Explorer site. And what I've done is I've downloaded uh, um, uh, Landsat images for uh, band 4, band 5, and band 6 for two different Landsat tiles. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create uh, individual maps for each of the bands. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click right click, choose create, new map, and first of all I'll call this uh, um, band, let's call this, uh, let's call it map uh, band 4. Alright, and, for, and for that I want to use these two right here, the two band 4 images. Click create map, and if I double click that open, you can see what that's done. That's created a map which has these two uh, Landsat images for band 4 as layers in the map. And now let's repeat that for uh, uh, band 5 and 6. And first we'll right click, choose new map, create a map, band 5. And uh, let's choose 5 for that. Click create map. And now let's create the, a map for band 6. New map. And we'll call it map uh, band 6. And again, I'll click band six. Obviously, if we're doing more than just two tiles here, we could do a, you know a dozen of them, and we'd just be clicking the various bands for each of the ones that we wanted. C create, click that. Okay, so now we have three different uh, uh, three different uh, band maps. And well, how we're going to use these? We're going to use these to do a merge. So I popped open the band because the merge dialog uh, works with within layers for, for the same map. So uh, this could have had a dozen layers, and we could all merge them all together. And the way we do that is edit merge click merge images and here I'm going to call this band 4 and uh, I want to right click, I don't want to create a one meter resolution which is the, what, the, what Bing uses, what I want to do is I want to use a coordinate system of the individual Landsat layers so I right click on this one choose coordinate system and now it'll use that uh, coordinate system which results in 30 meter pixel, pixels choose merge components and it's almost instantaneous I'm going to double click open man, map band 5 and now I'll do the same for that Edit file, excuse me, edit merge, merge images, and this one's called band five. Again, I'm gonna right click here and choose use coordinate system. Okay, super. Click merge components. And uh, now let's do the same with a uh, map band six. Edit, merge, merge images, and we'll call this one band six. Unsurprisingly, again, right click on that, choose use coordinate system. So we get 30 meter pixels, choose click on merge components and there we're done. Uh, now what I want to do is I as what I've created so far is a uh, is a uh, three raster images one called band 4, one called band 5 and one called band 6 which is those Landsat images that have been merged together. And what I want to do is I want to uh, combine them all into a single multi-band image. And to do that I'll choose any one of these. Let's start with a man band 4 and I'll copy and then paste to uh, create uh, a starter layer and I'm going to rename this rename related I'm going to call this uh, multi-band and uh, let's rename that as well the table so that's a uh, multi-band table great and this is going to be my starter image uh, this has only one band to it it's only uh, one channel we can see that in the info pane it's UN16 it's just one channel uh, and this was the original band 4 image. So now what we want to do is we want to add band 5 and band 6 as additional channels. And we'll do that using the join dialog. And to use the join dialog, I'm going to drag and drop band 5 here and uh, band 6 uh, into, the, into this uh, layer, into, the, into, the, into this uh, multi-layered uh, what's now become a map. And with the focus on the multi-band layer, I'm going to choose edit join, because it's a simple join. And what I want to do, I want to join data from band 5 into the multi-band image and I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to add channel 0 which is going to become channel 1. I'm just going to join. It's going to be joined. And so I now have two bands in my multi-band image. If I click on info you'll see it's now UN16 times 2. 
Okay, so uh, let's do that again. Let's use Edit Joint again to add the uh, next band. Only this time I'm going to load it from band 6. And I want to add channel 0 from band 6. I'm gonna, that's going to become channel 2 in this multiband image. Click Join Component. And uh, now the multiband image, if I look at the info pane, has three channels, UN16 times three. The uh, easiest way to uh, restyle this so that uh, automatically it, it'll be styled using all three bands as RGB is to just uh, close it and then reopen it again. And Manifold will automatically uh, restyle it that way. Uh, let's, uh, let's create a map with this. Uh, right click on that, choose Create a uh, New Map. And I want to use the multiband image in a layer with Bing Street Map as a background layer. Great, double click that map open. And now we can see that in context it shows us that it's completely and perfectly uh, geo-registered. Uh, and uh, we can play around if we like to uh, restyle that. For example, if we want to use uh, channel 0 for red, which is uh, I believe what the band 4 originally was, and channel 2, which is an uh, uh, in infrared band for uh, green, and uh, channel 1 for uh, blue, we can click Update Style. And there we go. You can see you get all these different otherworldly effects uh, by uh, which are useful for land classification and other sorts of uh, uh, techniques. So uh, it's that easy to uh, uh, download, to import masses of uh, Landsat data and to uh, restyle them and to create multiband images uh, because Manifold allows you to do certain things very quickly. For example, like merging images, even if they're very big images, it's, uh, it's no hassle at all. Say if we have like 36 uh, Landsat tiles to uh, you know combine them all together to form you know band four, band five, band six composite images, and then to blend them all to a single multi-band image. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, tell your friends all about this to uh, export this resulting project. By the way, you can right-click on multi-band, choose export, and then uh, right-click it as a uh, GeoTIFF or whatever we want to do. So that's that's easy enough to do. Uh, thanks for watching. Tell your friends. Download the free viewer. Try this out. And goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.